myself as creepy rainbow so to those who are new to this space thank you so much for stopping by but before you leave you make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you can get a notification every time i post a new video so today i am going to show you something really exciting this is going to be a proper makeup tutorial now we all know thanks to instagram that uh, those glossy eyelids like really are popping out like uh, those editorial looks and all but the only problem about all those things those looks are highly editorial because we all know in India where like humidity is always at its peak uh, glossy eyelids is not even a very practical thing to do but I think I might have cracked something because this look recently I have um, created and I wore for a party a daytime party actually so I just want to show it to you guys that how I created this look because I really feel that this is something that worth sharing and uh, so yeah without further ado let's just jump right in so first I'm starting off by priming my face and for that I am using this oil control primer from PAC uh, this one I am not really sure about I mean this is not a, like the best product from pack it's like an okay product and after that as for my foundation I am taking my current obsession that is L'Oreal Infallible foundation this is an amazing foundation for oily skin and I'm in the shade 105 so first I'm dotting it on my all over my face and then I'm just going to blend it with my uh, beauty blender you can even use a brush but if you are using foundation brush then you might need to work uh, with this foundation bit quickly and uh, next I am going to conceal my dark spot like under eyes so for that I am going to use uh, like my favorite 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 Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm in the shade called Sand Sable I think yeah so I'm just applying it on the regular portion of my face where I usually conceal and once I'm uh, done with that I am going to blend it with that same beauty blender and uh, as my next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to set off my face and for that I am using this NYX HD finishing uh, powder this one is an amazing product and I really really like it my brows I am going to take this wet and wild uh, brow pencil and I'm just going to like uh, slightly define my brows lately I like to keep my uh, brows very soft to set that I'm going to use this salon uh, brow gel nothing fancy here I am just like doing my regular brow routine uh, so yeah you'll just like get it by watching it so I don't really need to explain Plain. now for my face i am going to take this bronzer this is my everyday bronzer guys i got it from usa but i'm not really sure where you can get it in india this is actually the nyc bronzer and i am just obsessed with it this is like such a subtle and nice bronzer and um, i really really like it so it just gives you a very nice uh, soft but defined look not like cray cray contour and everything and for my highlighter I am using this uh, NYX highlighting palette I am not going to apply any blush I was just going to skip it because this bronzer does it uh, does a really nice job moving on to my eyes I am applying this Maybelline uh, matte ink lipstick and just blending it with my fluffy brush this one is, is in the shade called uh, driver suit i guess this is a very light nude and i don't really use it on my lips because it's just flush me out all the time instead of that i like using it on my eyelids now the most interesting product of this tutorial is this nyx butter gloss just look at the perfect peachy color and this is what i am going to use on my lids for that nice and editorial kind of effect like that glossy kind of effect and i am just going to blend it with my fingers i don't want to like move it too much with brush and you're applying it with brush uh, can get a little messy so i am just blending it out with my fingers trust me guys fingers are great 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 tools i always say that so yeah that's what i'm doing here for my lower lash line, I am taking the NYX uh, Sweet Cheek Blush Palette and I am just running uh, the peach color, like coral uh, peach color 
on my lower lash line because I don't really want to put gloss under my uh, lash line. For my waterline, I am using this LA Girl uh, uh, gel eyeliner, and I think this is in the shade. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Please check my description box. If you want, you can totally skip this blue uh, liner. Instead of that, you can go for brown or nude eyeliner to make it more soft and subtle. Now for my lashes, I am going to use this new purchase of mine that is uh, L'Oreal Lash Sensational Mascara. And for the lower lash line, I am going to add a little bit more color. And for that, I am using this... Um, Lacme Iconic Mascara in the shade Blue. You guys know I love this mascara. I really really like when Indian brands come up with really innovative and colorful makeup products. So I would suggest that if you are someone who likes to experiment with your makeup then this mascara is a must buy and for my lips I am going uh, in with the Nykaa lipstick and I am just like smudging it a bit with my fingers because I really want to keep this look very very soft to set everything I am using this Faces uh, Ultim Pro setting spray and with that we are done very neutral even you can wear this look to your work yes i know uh, it can be like bit intimidating if you are only a kajal person or just lip balm person but girl you can get me if you are someone like makeup lover like me it's really really wearable and uh, for work i would suggest that you skip this blue part just apply the black mascara and just tightline it with some white or light color uh, eye pencil or if you want you can go for some dark hole pencil as well and you will be good to go however I want to mention few points before I end this video as you have noticed I didn't really from the beginning I didn't really primed or put any foundation or concealer or powder on my eyelids which I generally do whenever I am working with any cream eyeshadow or any powder eyeshadow but in this case I didn't really do that because if you are going to apply your powder, foundation and concealer all over your eyelid when you are putting your cream lipstick or like lip gloss over it, it is going to clump because it's just the logic like you are layering this up so uh, it is just going to uh, really really like look it, make it cakey because anyway whenever you are blinking these things are tend to set into creases because it is a gloss, it is never going to get dried right so you just don't want to emphasize on those uh, things also I would like to mention one thing, do not put the gloss uh, like in your um, lower lash line because we have like really tiny creases over there we all have somebody has them more somebody has them less so if you are going to apply gloss over there as well it is just going to set and it's just going to emphasize those creases a bit more so um yeah and one more thing if you can get i would suggest that the way i have used this liquid lipstick right here to set my base and just increase the intensity of the pigmentation you go for this or if you don't really have a similar kind of lip shade in like two different finishes then just you can directly put this gloss as well now the biggest question is Priyanka do I need this and this particular product okay uh, we all know about the formula of this uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink this is really, really pigmented and really like sticky so it's just going to create that nice base for your eyes and for this product I would say guys I have actually uh, trying to decode this look like since really long and I have used every single thing I have used lip gloss I have used uh, like uh, Vaseline and everything now I know uh, MAC has a product and uh, I'm, I'm not really sure about the name but it's just going to give you that nice uh, effect but I know it is not really affordable for everyone so that's why I opted for this lipstick and this actually this lipstick has a nice formula it's don't really clump okay it, it is not that sticky I mean it's gloss it's obviously going to be sticky but it's not that sticky it's really hard to 
express what exactly the formula is but this is a really nice formula to walk around your eyes and lips of course uh, this one retails for I'm not really sure I get it Nykaa for 400 to 500 rupees anytime and if you are a gloss person you just uh, buy a gloss you can use it on your lips and your eyes as well but I'm not really a gloss person so I use it for only and only my eyeshadow purpose I do have like two three variants in this collection so I always just go and use them as eyeshadow one more thing I would like to suggest that today I opted for a waterproof mascara so waterproof mascara is really really important also I did not apply any false lashes but if you are planning to apply false lashes I would suggest first you apply for, uh, your false lashes and then apply your gloss because for God's sake this is gloss your eyelash glue is not going to stick after uh, using it so just you need to keep that in mind so I really hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and you are going to recreate this look trust me guys you can wear this uh, you will be good to go for two to three hours max I am not really sure if you guys are going to wear it for all day long how it is going to perform because we all know like India is really humid country if you're someone whose eyes like tends to get really oily or sweaty I suggest you do not apply this technique or like stay away from this glossy eyelid look uh yeah and i'm sweating like hell ha 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 yeah snatched again <laughs> so yeah that was it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did so if you do then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video take care bye